Nearly two years later and the effects of the 2016 algae crisis still linger and tonight a devastating find in the Indian River Lagoon. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan is live in Martin County with our story. Alex. Well, Ashley, we've been reporting about this dying seagrass here along the lagoon over the past couple of years, but now and we've got the pictures to prove it. Conks are dying as well. Would think that it was absolutely perfect. The water is what brought Marsha Fusner here years ago. This water is far from perfect. Now it's the water that's forcing her to leave. I'm gone. I'm gone. Go figure. Marsha gets emotional thinking about it. All apart talking about it. I've made a lot of friends here. And a discovery Wednesday, shall we say, solidified her decision. A conservative estimate would have been 75 of them. She shared these photos of several conks covered in muck, all dead. Couldn't find a live conch anywhere. Turns out this is the aftermath of what happened nearly two years ago. We all remember that summer after those discharges. This is kind of the remnant. Mark Perry with Florida's Oceanographic Society told me this is not surprising and a conch loss is directly tied to the loss of hundreds of acres of seagrass along the lagoon. The seagrass is gone. This is the evidence that the conchs can't survive. So they literally die off because there's not enough food or habitat for them. So clearly the catastrophe that was 2016 lives on today. I think it's worth it. And Marsha has lost hope. Would I ever move back here? No, because I don't think this is ever going to get better. And God bless the people that are still fighting to think that it's going to. Now, Perry says we're likely to see more of these discoveries over the coming weeks, months, even years. Right now, a lot of folks up here hoping for a prolonged drought right now to help this lagoon recover. Reporting live in Martin County, Alex Hagan, WPTV News Channel 5.